Dave Palumbo here with another Redcon 1 RX Muscle Rant. Today's topic, I'm pissed off because everything good for you nowadays is bad for you. I don't understand why, but it is. I love to eat healthy. I, one of my favorite foods of all time is tuna. I like raw tuna, I like cooked tuna. I also love swordfish and I can't eat it anymore. Why? Because it's got mercury in it. Mercury! Why is there mercury in there? Well, it seems like all the big fishes that swim around the sea nowadays eat stuff that has mercury because we throw mercury into the water like a bunch of morons and then the fish eat it and then we eat the fish and we get mercury in our brains and we can't function and we die. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? That's supposed to be the healthy stuff. They say don't eat all this fatty red meat and, and stay away from all the, the, the unhealthy chicken and, and other foods and you try to eat fish and guess what? You wind up worse than if you would have just eaten the red meat to begin with. So I say to myself, fine, I won't eat swordfish. I won't eat, I won't eat tuna anymore. Because you, you read about it all the time. High mercury levels and all these TV stars who eat sushi every night. I'm going to stick with salmon. The truth is, I love salmon actually more than I love tuna. So I am eating salmon, eating salmon, eating salmon. And then I realize, I read an article, you got to be careful because you want to eat the wild caught salmon. Because the farm raised fish is fed fish food, which it's really not. They feed these fishes, rather than what they eat in the wild, which is other fish and algae, they feed them corn. But they don't even feed them a corn based food from a container. They feed the chickens that. And then they take the chicken poops and they feed that to the fish. So your fish that you're eating, your farm raised fish are eating chicken poop for food. And they're living in fish tanks where they don't, the water doesn't circulate. So they're leading very unhealthy lives, which leads to really poor fatty acid stores. So you don't want to eat farm-raised salmon, so it's not good for you. So, fine, I'll go to the store and I'll spend an extra $10 a pound and I'll get the salmon that is wild caught. Because after all, I'm about health and fitness, right? Wrong! Because the wild caught salmon have PCBs in them polychlorinated biphenol. And you know what? That's not good for you either because that's going to kill you. So guess what? Nothing you eat. So now I can't even eat salmon. Now I don't want to eat anything. Now I want to turn vegetarian. So I'm like, well, you know what? I love, I love kale. I love cabbage. I love broccoli. All, this, all these, and I know these are superfood vegetables, right? Really good for you. Alkalinize the body. I'm going to make me live a very long time. Guess what, guys? Wrong again! Because those vegetables, especially kale in large amounts, inhibit your thyroid gland from working. That's right, that gland that's right here. The thyroid gland that controls metabolism. So guess what? If you eat too much kale, your metabolism lowers. You get depressed. You don't lose weight. You look heavy. You feel bad. You don't want to do anything. So all this great food makes you feel crappy if you eat too much of it. So what the hell is left to, 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 to eat anymore? I guess I got to go back to my original diet. I used to eat McDonald's. But then again, McDonald's, if you keep it out for 100 days, it doesn't even turn bad because it's got so many preservatives in it that it actually is, becomes petrified. So I can't eat that. But you know what? There must be something I could eat, right? Right? There's got to be something. Well, whatever there is, I can't even cook it anymore because you know what? I don't have a lot of time to cook on the stove, so I like to microwave things. But guess what? If you put your food into a microwavable plastic container, guess what happens? That plastic leaches BPAs and phthalates into the food I'm eating, and it's poisoning me that way. So there's no place to turn anymore. You can't eat healthy. You can't do anything that you think is good for you anymore because even the healthy stuff is no good. And that drives me crazy. So what am I supposed to eat? What are we, you know what the, the bottom line is guys? Here it is. I'm going to give it to you. Everything that's good for you in life is also got some negatives to go along with it. I guess the bottom line is don't do anything in excess. Try to do a little of this, a little of that. Here, a little poison here, a little poison there. And you know what? You just might make it through this world without being poisoned to death. Don't read all the crazy articles online. Don't go crazy. Using plastic in the microwave, having a kale salad here and there, eating some salmon and some raw sushi tuna. It's all good. It's all good. You can't let this stuff drive you crazy. You know why? Because you won't eat anything. And then you'll become an anorexic and then you'll die anyway. 
And one more thing that drives me nuts, this chair, it doesn't stop squeaking, 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 squeaking.